If you've ever paid a bill or a ticket online, you may want to listen up. We tested various websites at the city, county, and state level, including utility companies. Some passed and some failed. Here's News 4 Tucson investigator Brett Bugansky with more. You don't want to make it easy for them. It may be taken for granted since it's become part of our everyday life. You type your name, birthday, a credit card number, even your social security number. Seems harmless. You're just paying a bill or a traffic ticket. But is that website you're using really secure? Any network can be compromised given enough time. KVOA tech contributor Quincy Hobbs shows us how often cyber attacks take place. Government targets and also uh, corporate targets. So these are real time attacks. Hobbs says thousands happen every minute all across the world as he shows us one website tracking cyber attacks as they happen. There's places in Tucson that are likely being attacked. So we used a free online program to see how safe these websites really are. The test is simple. You type in the URL, the program scans the website, gives it a letter grade, and gives you a reason why it scored high or low. It checks for outdated security protocols, which could potentially put your information in the wrong hands. It's something that should be fixed because it's low hanging fruit and you want to shore up all your weak points to make sure that you don't seem to be an appealing target for someone. Websites like Pima County got an A along with the state of Arizona and Pima Community College. Trico Gas scored the highest with an A+. The city of Tucson and Southwest Gas got a B. Others like Cochise County and Tucson Electric Power scored a C. Unfortunately, they didn't do too well. Uh, and it was mainly due to protocol support. But then you have the Pima County Consolidated Court website that got an F, along with schools like Sal Point Catholic High School and Temple Emmanuel Tucson. Maybe they aren't aware of it so they can improve it and make it more secure. In fact, after we told Pima County Consolidated Court about its F grade, it went ahead and made the necessary changes. They now have an A. Cochise County also did the same thing. They went from a C and now they have an A. Sal Point Catholic High School released a statement saying its website vendor was investigating the scan results. Over the weekend, the company we use, Qualys, and Sal Point's vendor confirmed there were vulnerabilities in its system that needed patching. On Monday, its grade went from an F to a C. It's better to to just go ahead and resolve them instead of having them linger out there and someone finding something new, a new way to actually exploit it. Sal Point also said it is addressing other issues into why its website grade was capped at a C. Meanwhile, if you have a story for the News 4 Tucson investigators, email investigators at kvoa.com or call the tip line 955-4444. Investigating for you, Brett Bogansky, News 4 Tucson.